Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to connect grid gain control center uh, with your Apache Ignite clusters. That's a two-part series. In the first part, I will have an Ignite cluster running on my local laptop. That cluster will be interconnected with the hosted version of control center that is managed uh, by grid gain. And then we will be using a web browser to connect and monitor our cluster. And in the second video, I will start an Apache Ignite application and will show you what do you need to do with your application to ensure that it also can be monitored by your control center deployment. All right, let's proceed with the first part. We want to start the cluster and monitor that cluster with a uh, control center. Uh, as I said, I will be using uh, the hosted version that is deployed and managed by GridGain. Uh, that's not required. You can always download and install Control Center in your environment the way you need. But here is let's create the account uh, first. Uh, let's say that my account would be at let's see some company dot com. Uh, the password my name is Dennis Magda, and uh, I'm an Apache Ignite committer, and I live in the United States. All right ready i'm in uh, the account is created and here is uh, we have some hints prepared by the tool it says that before i connect the cluster with the tool i need to download a special control center agent and then put all those libraries inside of your ignite distribution so let's go for it i'm clicking on this reference and I'm getting to the downloads page of GridGain. Let's scroll down to the GridGain Control Center Agent section. And my version is Ignite 2.9, so that's why I'm downloading this agent. Good. It's ready. It's in my downloads folder. Uh, let's unzip it. And right now, let's look inside. Uh, we have lips and bins folder. Inside of the lips, I have various jar files that have to be copied into the uh, libs folder of your Ignite distributions. And as for the bin folder, here is I have a special management SH script that you can use to generate special tokens and do some other manipulations with your control center deployment. All right, I'm copying this to, and then I'm heading to the Apache Ignite distribution, doing paste. And here is what's important. I don't want to replace libs and build folder of Apache Ignite completely. I just want to merge the content of Ignite folders with the content of the same folders from Control Center. Just merging, merging, good. Everything is inside. So the next step, let's start an Ignite cluster. I'm in, that's my Ignite distribution. And I'm starting this node. I'm going to use examples, config, uh, What's the name? Example Ignite configuration. Because I'm going to use the same configuration for my application later in the second video. All right, the node is started. And here is you also see that my control center agent was detected. And the agent automatically by default connected to the control gridgain.com, the hosted version. And uh, here is a special token, security token, that I need to use to kind of wire together my cluster with Control Center. Before I use this token, let me start another node. I want to have two node uh, cluster. All right, it's up and running. So, and then let's copy this token. That's my two node cluster, as you see. And I'm jumping back to the control center panel. I'm clicking on the add cluster button, adding this token. And good, we are ready. The cluster is here. The cluster is ready. That's the version of Ignite. And if I go to the dashboard, here is you can see that that's a two node cluster. Both nodes are running. Uh, some of the you know CPU usage statistics and memory usage statistics, nothing serious happens. And that's actually what we're going to change with our next video. So you see that I have the cluster running, I downloaded uh, the control center agent, and with that agent, I interconnected the hosted version of control center with the cluster. So let's check 
for the description to the next in the description for the next video where I will show you how to connect uh, with the application to the cluster and how to monitor that application with control center. See you soon. Bye bye.